Today we're going to be looking at schedule optimization using an algorithm by Ken Lane for cutoff grade optimization. Let's have a look at a simple problem. So in this example we have 10 increments of rock that need to be mined sequentially. You can think of it from an open pit example as a single pushback with 10 different benches. In each of those benches we have a grade tonnage distribution. So what's happening here is that the material on the bench is put into categories of similar value. Each of the benches has got its own grade tonnage distribution. And what we'll be doing is deciding where we're going to put our cutoff grade so that anything above that cutoff grade goes to the mill and anything below the cutoff grade goes to the waste dump. We won't be considering stockpiles in this example. So the question is, how many valid schedules can we create from these 10 increments of rock if they have 62 different cutoff grade choices that we can make? The answer is we can make 62 to the power of 10, or about 10 to the 18 different valid combinations. If we were to calculate all of these different schedules at a rate of a thousand million calculations per second, it would still take us 27 years. Now Ken Lane had a quote about this problem. Even though it's a very small problem, it's actually still a very big number of valid choices. He said, in order to find the optimum operating strategy and the corresponding maximum present value for in a particular case, the totality of the maximum net present value surface is irrelevant. Only the surface in the immediate vicinity of the track matters. So let me show you using the dynamic programming method that Ken described how this actually works. So what we have here is a simplified form of the equation from Ken Lane's book. Let me break it up into pieces. Essentially what we have is the value of the entire resource, R, is equal to the sum of the cash flow from a small piece of the resource, little r, plus the value of the remaining resource, which is the big R minus little r. Now, the value isn't just dependent on the resource, it's also dependent on the operating strategies to be employed, both in the cash flow and in the remaining value. So what we want to do is that we want to maximize for all of these different operating strategies, which will then give us not just the value of the entire resource, it will give us the maximum value of the entire resource. In the next video, I'll be explaining how this formula applies with some sample calculations, and then I'll also be showing graphically what this algorithm looks like as it's going through the schedule, maximizing the, the net present value and changing the operating policies as it goes.